In this video, we are going to look at how to extend the functionality of a single cycle processor to support a new instruction. In this particular case, we're going to look at the MIPS jump register instruction. This instruction takes a value from the register file and stores it into the program counter. And considering this, we need to consider a few parts. The first is the interaction between the data path and the control unit. Looking at this, we know we need to modify the PC or program counter value. The PC is stored in a register shown here. And currently there are three different possible sources for the next PC value. And this can come from one of three locations, depending on the inputs to the MUC shown here. This can be either the current program counter plus four, the program counter plus four plus a sign extended immediate value, which is used for branch instructions, or it can be a immediate value, which is used for jump instructions. So this means right now, there's no way to take a value from the output of the register file and feed it into the program counter. And so we need to make some sort of modification to support this. So for simplicity, we're going to add another mux. And this mux is gonna need some sort of control. And for now, we're gonna call this JR, and then this MUX, in addition to having the current input, is going to need a new input. And this input needs to or come from the output of the register file. And so we're going to take what contains RS and feed it into this multiplexer. So when JR is 1, it will take the output of the register file and feed it into the program counter. So this handles the modifications to the data path. We also have to consider how the control unit needs to be modified to produce this JR signal to feed into the data path. The jump register instruction is an R type instruction, meaning that its opcode is zero. And so at least just structured currently, the, the main decoder in the control unit cannot distinguish this R type instruction from any other R type instruction. And so this means we need to modify the ALU decoder, which is the one that receives the function field to produce the JR control signal. And so to do this, we're going to add a new entry for our jump register instruction. As is shown above, it has an opcode of 001000. Since we're not going to be using the ALU, we don't care what the ALU control fields are. And we're going to add a new field for the jump register output. And this is the one case we're going to want it to be 1. And in all of the other cases, we're going to want it to be 0. And then we will add an output over here for that JR signal. And then this will feed into the data path and will complete the addition of the jump register instruction. 